Hey everyone, welcome to another pretty cool Illustrator CS6 tutorial where we're going to learn how to apply multiple transformations. And the transformation command we're going to use is called transform each. And that's what this is pretty much about using the transform each command. It allows you to transform such as rotate, reflect, scale, and shear multiple objects relative to their own reference points instead of to a single reference point. And I'll explain that to you. So what I'm talking about is when you go ahead and select two objects and you do something like rotate, it's going to rotate by its own reference point, which is probably right here in the center. And then when you rotate these, they're going to rotate along the whole entire page. But if you want them to rotate ab uh, along both of their own centers, you're going to have to use the transform each command. So you go to object, and you go to transform, and you come here to transform each. And say I want to do something like rotate these 23 degrees each, and I hit OK. You can see that these uh, change rotated 23 degrees each. Also, I had on scale 50%, so they went down 50%. Let me go back, and then I'll take that off because I forgot that I actually had that on. Let's put this back to 100 so that it doesn't do anything. And we'll do this to 23, and I'll hit OK. And you can see that these scaled along each other. Now if I go up to Object and go to Transform and hit Reset Bounding Box, it's going to reset the bounding box to the same. And now we've got this new sh looking shape, which is basically the same shape that we had before, just rotated 23 degrees. And that rotated both on itself instead of rotating along the whole entire page. So that's something you might want to use. So let's go check out some of the other options that we have. Select but one or more of your objects. Go to Object, Transform, Transform Each. Now the hotkey is alt shift control d but that seems like a lot to remember and you don't need to remember it at first just uh, remember to go up here and once you start getting other hotkeys memorized then you can start doing that so we've got scale and we scale by percentage here we can move everything um so it's pretty much the same as just moving them up and down together there's not too much of a difference um let's check it try it Let's move these both 50 pixels to the right. And that's what it did. It moved them to the right. And I also left the um, angle on, which I forgot about. So if I hit OK again, now it's only going to move these 50 uh, pixels to the right again. And there we go. And you can pretty much do that anyway by just moving them like this. Go to Object. Reset bounding box, it won't be slanted anymore. So transform each. Let's look at what else we have. Let me put this back to zero. As you can see, they don't reset every time. They always have the same thing. We've got other options. Reflect on the x-axis, reflect on the y. We've got a random. We've got scale strokes and effects and transform objects selected. And Scale strokes and effects. Um, stro uh, when you scale your object, the stroke is going to scale along with it as well as any other effects you may have on it. And that's good for keeping your, your stroke proportional to your object. Transform objects here. It uh, transforms only objects. Um, so if you have like a pattern then it's not going to transform patterns if you don't have transform patterns selected. If you have a both selected, it's going to transform both. But I don't have any patterns on there, so it doesn't really matter too much. The next thing down here, this is your reference point, and this means it's in the center. You can click on these other ones to change where your reference point is. And if you want it to be in the bottom right corner, then that's it for each of your objects, and so on. So that's what we've got. We've got a preview here where we can actually preview what we're going to do before it happens. So if I go 50 here, then I hit my preview and check it. You can see the different angle that it's going to take. 
And if I have zero on there, it's not going to do anything. So the defaults are 100% for scales, zero pixels for move, zero degrees for angle in case you ever um, get messed up with those. So that's that. Now I'm going to show you something cool after this in the next tutorial called the transform effect. So stay tuned for that. Give this uh, video a thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure to subscribe to check out more New Boston tutorials when they come out. So thanks a lot for watching this one. Hopefully you guys have a great day today.